for some of you the only reason you are you hold on to you think that when your husband say, has a particular idea you must have the opposite if he says it's this way that is when you will now say is that the only reason is because he said is that way of course some husbands are like that too the only reason they refuse that idea is because the, the wife said it but i tell you it must be the way you said it present it as a suggestion a wise suggestion why can't you just humble yourself and be wise be smart a wise woman will always be an influence to her husband a foolish one will always annoy the husband make him mad make him angry and when you make him angry you'll be the victim are you still here learn to listen to your husband learn to listen learn it practice it tell yourself you're going to do it that is where your beauty is once you stop listening all your beauty evaporates it, it's something you probably don't know beauty is in obedience that's where the glory is once you are not obedient once you are you are harsh you talk anyhow to your husband your beauty evaporates you wonder why you are dressing and he can't see it he doesn't remember your last hairstyle he can't see all those things well today's meeting is not for this but i Are you still in this room yeah. I just thought I should I should explain some of those things to you you can have a better life honestly you can you can how can a marriage become a war a war zone a, a man is angry I'm going this way the wife also Two people who should have been praying together. Okay, let's pray. This one kneels down like this. The other one faces the other direction. <laughs> Why? The Bible says if you act that way, your prayers will be hindered. I know that's why some of you, you don't pray together. I say, I don't want to have God hinder my prayer. I don't want anybody to hinder my prayer. <laughs> I pray my own, you pray your own. <laughs> These people are supposed to be married. One is one. Ura baba bashina mama kurama mama. Ira baba baba. 